gotta gotta get to this this is a hot one and it's just some topics are just so all-encompassing i don't even know what to say it's because it's just so i mean this topic encompass for everything from corruption in dc to the swamp to media to social to big tech i mean it covers damn near everything going on that's how big this story is and it's been i mean this is nothing new this is how big this story is and how big it's been and how big the cover-up was on it this is the hunter biden laptop hunter you know biden was asked about the hunter biden story he said on television that it was a russian plant a bunch of garbage and that it was only believed by Rudy Giuliani. He didn't, I don't think he lied there. I think he was telling the truth. That for all that there, I think he was telling the truth. When you look at it, he said, well, I, let me say this. He wasn't telling the truth, but he wasn't lying though. It, it was a Russian plant. I don't know, maybe that was true or not. That He, he didn't say it wasn't true. A bunch of garbage. That's opinion. <laughs> I could call a suitcase full of a million dollars a bunch of garbage. And that it was only believed by Rudy Giuliani. Where's the lie? Most, it was really what he's saying is Rudy Giuliani and anyone who's willing to listen to Rudy Giuliani. People on the other side of Rudy Giuliani, they weren't listening to it. So it was clear that he was dodging it. He never said it wasn't true. He's just using these political games. Never said it wasn't true. Think about how corrupt our media has to be to see those. And everybody sees it. You come to him and say, hey, what's with this? What's with this story with Hunter Biden, the laptop? And I'm going to show you, if you don't know already, why that ties in. Because I don't care about Hunter Biden, that why that ties into Joe Biden. Everybody comes to him and say, what's this laptop? Because if it's true, then now we have to look at what's on it, in it, how it ties into you. And is that true? So they come to him and he says these vague terms of it's a Russian plant. I asked you if it was true or not. I didn't ask you if it was a Russian plant. What's up with this laptop? It's a bunch of garbage. I asked you if it was true or false. <laughs> is this really his laptop? You probably know, sir. It, you know what? Only Rudy Giuliani believes that. You're not answering the question. And our media is so corrupt. They hit it and put it under the table for him. Leaning up until... I know the Trump campaign, it's the impression I got because they knew about the laptop for a long time. They wanted to save it for an October surprise. And that actually backfired, in my opinion. And I, I don't blame them. I, 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 there's no foresight that I had that would have backfired. But hold, it, the fact is, holding it on to October, gave, or it wasn't October. I forgot when it broke, but it wasn't that much before the election. And they muted it and then was able to go to the election and move on. And then afterwards talk about it being true with a Dem house and a split senate smart stuff by the cabal that's that time magazine article if you haven't read it search time magazine cabal in twitter or twitter is probably better than google to search that they said uh, remember after that came out they said there was like these unnamed sources these unnamed intelligence sources that said that the laptop was disinformation. What does that mean? What's the definition of disinformation? They're saying deliberately misleading information. They didn't say it was a lie. That's, that's, the, that's for sure. I didn't hear any one of them say, oh, it was a flat out lie. It's not his laptop. It was the biggest story probably ever Maybe I'm forgetting something, but it's one of the biggest ever election stories that's ever happened. And it got it got slept under the rug. Why did Twitter ban this story? 
Who who made the decisions to ban that story? Affecting the outcome of an election. You might have seen polling that some people said if we if I had known, maybe I would have gone the other way. The polling that I want to see is, well, now that you know it was hidden, what do you want to do about it? <laughs> like what what do you want to force Congress to do? We have not done one thing to prevent that from happening again. So let's say hypothetically there's another candidate. I don't care what political party they're at. They have a laptop or any story, really. And it comes out. What's to stop big tech from weighing in on it again? I'm not, I'm not aware of anything that has been put in place to stop that from happening. Here's what, remember after Hillary lost, here's how the Google, some Google execs and employees, how they were acting. 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday night, I was at home with friends and family watching the election returns. And uh, as we started to see the direction of the voting, I reached out to someone close to me who was at the Javits Center where the big celebration was supposed to occur in New York City. Somebody had been working on the campaign. And um, I just sent him a note and said, you know, are you okay? It looks like it's going the wrong way. And I got back a very sad short text um, that read, people are leaving, staff is crying, we're gonna lose. Uh, that was the... These are the people involved with the company that controls the search, the biggest search engine in the world, to search for information. This is the company that runs the platform I'm on right now. Broke down in tears. This represented all of Silicon Valley. First moment I really felt like we were gonna lose. And it was this massive like kick in the gut that we were gonna lose. And it was really painful. It did feel like a ton of bricks dropped on my chest and I've had a chance to talk to a lot of fellow Googlers and people have said different words, similar concept. This, how painful is it? How painful this is. Breitbart broke that story. I'll never forget when I first saw that story. That's, I was still blue-pilled, but it, I still remember it. Maybe that's kind of the start of, of the awakening uh, when I, I remember that right after the election. I'm going to end with this. It's okay to be sad if you wanted Hillary to win and she didn't win. What's not okay and, and what's not acceptable is doing these acts that are, I can't say anything else, but other than malicious in order to sway the results in the future um, situations. It's unacceptable, but if they have the power to do it, they do it. If most citizens aren't aware, they do it. If most citizens don't care enough, they do it. I just don't know how they sleep, go to sleep at night. Let me know what you think. That's the Hunter, Hunter Biden story. Hunter Biden is connected to President Biden with this laptop. So it's not just a Hunter thing. So there's all kinds of stuff on it. I, some stuff I don't know if I could even talk about on air here on the internet. But the connections are to the pay to play scandal by somebody who was labeled as the big guy. I just don't know if anybody cares, mainstream media, any integrity, if you have integrity to find out what that means. If it means nothing, it means nothing. But that's the connection. Who's the big guy? 